New research suggests human-like footprints in Crete date to 6.05 million years ago. The findings could upend scientists' understanding of human evolution, but the paper has proven quite controversial. Back in 2002, researchers who had discovered hominid footprints on the Greek island of Crete discovered they were made an incredible 5.7 million years ago. And now, they say they are putting back the date even further, making it almost certain that they are much older still. Back in 2017, Dr. Per Alberg from the Uppsala University and his colleagues determined that the footprints that had become fossilized in a rock on Crete were 5.7 mil million years old and made by human ancestors. This was a revolutionary finding, indicating that it was possible that humans evolved in Europe, launching a curveball into the African origin evolutionary theory. But recent research shows that the 50 footprints are more than 300,000 years older than previously thought according to a scientific paper published in Scientific Reports. The hominid who had earlier been thought to belong to the group of the proto-humans called Graecopithecus Freiburg, who had been classified as such in 1944. Now, the remains of this individual, affectionately named El Graco, were found outside of Athens. And these bones date to as old as 7.4 million years. Now, study co-author Uwe Kirscher, who is an expert in paleogeography at the University of Tübingen, said in a statement, the tracks are almost 2.5 million years older than the tracks attributed to Australopithecus afarensis, or Lucy. I think I have a picture of Lucy here. There she is. Now, Lucy's bones are out of Africa, and they were found in Letoli, in Tanzania. Now, back in 2017, the original analysis of the footprints was mind-blowing. It was mind-blowing enough when Bournemouth University's Matthew Robert Bennett and Alberg, an evolutionary biologist at Uppsala University, contended that the footprints are small tracks made by someone walking upright on two legs. And you can clearly see in the top right, the ball of the foot, the heel, and one, two, three toes. And what we're looking at here is the 6.05 million year old footprints made in Trachilos, Crete which were once thought to be 5.6 million years. Uh, this is a laser scan of one of the best preserved footprints on the left and transverse sections showing concave and convex structures in the impression on the right. These researchers who also co-authored the scientific paper on the footprints noted that the impressions on Crete have a shape and form very similar to human tracks. Meaning, well, there are five toes which do not have claws, like gorillas or chimpanzees, as well as a parallel big toe and a ball of the foot like Homo sapiens. Non-human ape footprints look very different. The authors explain in the new paper, the foot is shaped more like a human hand as far as apes with the big toe attached low on the side of the sole and sticking out sideways. We can clearly see the big toe here is an alignment. Using even more targeted dating techniques enabled the scientist to hone in on the time frame when these prints were made. Now, by testing foraminifera, tiny fossilized marine microorganisms found in sedimentary rocks, 
they were able to arrive at an astonishing date of 6.05 million years old. Julien Luis, a Griffith University paleontologist who was not involved in the study, was quoted saying, some of the footprints look like a bipedal animal, but a lot of the other footprints are very ambiguous and variable in size. Some of them don't look like footprints at all. So the issue here is making a very large claim on the basis of information that's quite open to interpretation. Well, I'd like to interject here and say that not all footprints are preserved the same. And in fact, if you have good preservation of one footprint that has articulated toes, a ball, and a heel, well, that should give you pause and you should study this footprint and not disregard the other bad footprints. Now, these scientists are literally throwing a wrench in the paradigm and pushing back the date of walking humans by millions of years. From 3.3 million years ago all the way back to 6.05. And that tends to ruffle feathers. Because first of all, these were not found in Africa, which means all of the top anthropologists' complete lives have been destroyed because it means out of Africa doesn't mean anything. So there's the problem. In fact, the scientists who posited the original dates are well aware that their findings might not jive with the mindset of other researchers. And they expected there would be doubters, saying that our interpretation has been controversial and several counter-interpretations have been made. Now, the amazing story about this is that the discoverer of these astounding foot footprints was not looking for hominid footprints from the prehistoric past. In fact, paleontologist Gerhard Gerlinski from Warsaw, Poland, was just trying to get away from it all in the summer of 2002, enjoying the warm seas and soft sands of the Greek island of Crete, when he stumbled upon them. <laughs> As a researcher, when he goes on any trip, he is always ready to take samples of interesting things. Um, he often traveled with a hammer and a camera and a GPS for just such occasions. And what he discovered along the Mediterranean shores of the town of Trachios would rock his world and send some researchers who were convinced that humans evolved solely in Africa into angry denial, resulting in many of them casting aspersions on his jaw-dropping find. Gerlinski asked colleagues from Poland, Sweden, Greece, the U.S., and the U.K., among them, Dr. Pearl Alberg, for their opinions on what he saw as human-like footprints that somehow had been made into a flat rock along the shore where he was vacationing, right here, which you see they've fenced it off. Well, the team of experts from around the world came to one conclusion, that indeed the impressions had been made by ancient human ancestors 5.7 to 6 million years ago. Oh no. This would make it the earliest known hominid footprint in the world, pushing back the date by millions of years. These prints had been made during the Miocene era, at a time when the entire Mediterranean Sea had dried up. The scientific world was faced with the notion that these small footprints on the Greek island would now be the earliest known human-like prints in the world. Far older than the prints previously found in Africa and Ethiopia, which were made 3.6 million years ago on a volcanic deposit there. Once again, as they showed in 2017, these findings throw the previous paradigm of evolution into a spin, since the previously held theory that has refined for decades now is that humans originated in one place and one place only, Africa, and then migrated out from there. But what we're finding is that that night might not be the truth, and here is the out of Africa hypothesis. The truth may be, as often as it is, much more complicated than that, with hominins of different types 
evolving, perhaps, in different areas and migrating back and forth, especially as the Mediterranean was dried up for some time in the distant past. After all, we're entering an ice age at this point. The famous archaeologist, the Leakey family, discovered the fossils of what they called Lucy. And we do have pictures of Lucy. There she is. And this was in Tanzania, Tanzania in 1974. This led many to believe that 3.2 million years ago evidence showed beyond a shadow of a doubt that humans evolved from that place and from that form only. Lucy was a member of Australopithecus afarensis. She left footprints that were one time widely accepted as the very oldest pre-human body impressions. Still, even older body fossils that are believed to be those of early hominins have now been found in Africa, leading many to believe that Lucy may be only one piece of the puzzle and that human ancestors stretch far back beyond Lucy's species and time. Scientists believe that Homo sapiens or modern humans evolved into our present form about 300,000 years ago. And all people living today who do not have an origin in Africa have genes from the now extinct hominins known as Homo neanderthalensis, who were believed to have lived a half a million years ago and went extinct just recently, 42,000 years ago. So at some point, it appears evident that the Mediterranean did indeed separate peoples from one and another. Still, as far back as 6.05 million years ago, there may have been the equivalent of an easily traversed broad plain or basin between what are now separate continents of Europe and Africa. The interesting thing claimed in the new paper is that it demonstrates migration from Europe to Africa, not the other way around. And that, well... That is a boom to knowledge. Please share this video with other like-minded people as we are shadow banned from the algorithm and we need your help to grow. And leave a comment below and tell me what you think about the evidence. All the links to all the information we discussed will be below the video. Be safe. We love you.